What's going on, boxing fans? You're listening to the voice of Prince with old school boxing. Today, I'm going to be talking about Danny the Miracle Man Jacobs. He has a fight coming up against Luis Arias, a former Floyd Mayweather protege, may I say. But he's not with Floyd Mayweather anymore. They had a little problem. But it, I'm looking forward to the fight. Dang old miracle man Jacobs. Here's a guy who survived cancer. The doctor said he'll never walk again, but he's here fighting, fighting, and not even fighting. Chump change, he's fighting the best of the best. The creator of the crane. Like Floyd Mayweather always say. <laughs> he's fighting guys like Gennady Golovkin. He's fighting these top guys. He wants to fight the best. He gets all the respect from me. Daniel Jacob has a record of 32 and 2. It's only two losses, but it's to good, good fighters. He lost to Dimitri Piru, who was undefeated. And I think he stopped fighting because he had a back injury. He's probably still undefeated. And he lost to another undefeated fighter who were Gennady, who is Gennady Golovkin. Uh, Luis Cuba Arias is 18 and 0. He's undefeated. So just good fights, you know. But here's my prediction for this fight. Um, Danny Jacob has an enormous amount of experience. One of my favorite Danny Jacob fight was when he knocked out Peter Quillen in the first round in battle for Brooklyn. That was a spectacular knockout in spectacular fashion. Um, Luis Cuba Arias is a good fighter, but he's nowhere near the level of uh, Daniel Jacobs. I got Daniel Jacob winning by a stoppage knockout. I got Daniel Jacobs winning by uh, either early round, either early knockout, or I say mid knockout. But this fight is definitely not going 12 rounds because there is no way Daniel Jacob is going to uh, play around with this opportunity. He's going to make a statement because he wants to fight the best. He wants to fight like a Canelo or a Golovkin. So it's going to be an early knockout. So here we got uh, Jacobs talking about how HBO wants to make him a, a superstar. I'm all for it. You know, I think he has like a three fight deal with HBO and he's being promoted right now by Eddie Hearn. He hasn't left. Uh, he hasn't left Al Heyman. He's just, Al Heyman is his advisor. He's just being promoted by Eddie Hearn for his next three fights. But take a listen. And they have guys who are superstars, but when you think about HBO, I mean, they need an American star. Boxing needs a true American star, and I think they're looking to capitalize off of that. And, it, and just the way everything was lined up for me, it just so happened uh, that it was an easy transition. Uh, I had no real ties and obligations to anyone, and, you know, I had to make a decision that was best for me. And at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm, I'm fortunate because, because, you know, this is going to be something that, I mean, you think about all the qualities that I have, you know, all the things that I possess, not just inside the ring, but outside, you know, it's a recipe for superstardom. And now that I have the backing of a network who's going to push for that, you know, not battling other uh, fighters, you know, not, you know, someone having to, to manage this, that, and the third, all these other superstars. Like, I have guys focusing on me, and, and that's this is just another one. Um, Eddie Hearns and HBO were very, in, very interested. You know, I think a lot of people were interested after the Golovkin fight. Yeah. They seen what I had, they seen exactly who and what I brought to the table, and, um, you know, they're looking to make me a superstar. And, I mean, I can't, I can't argue that, because I've always felt like... Uh, I was lacking the promotion that can make me a superstar. And not to say anybody else was doing a bad job. I'm just simply saying that, you know, sometimes you just need to switch it up. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. Daniel Jacobs saying the plan that HBO has for him to uh, possibly make him a superstar in the sport. And I'm all for it. He has character. He has class. And he is what boxing really needs. This is Prince. You're listening to the voice of old school boxing. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. 
अवगत 